The morning after the election was probably one of the hardest days with my son. I had to wake him up and let him know that somebody that he feared was now going to be our president. So I drove him to school. Love you. I told him he needed to keep his mouth shut because there was going to be um, people who were going to be very happy and that I didn't want anything to happen to him. Got home and I got a Snapchat from him. What happens if he repeals marriage equality? And I sat on the stairs and cried. So I didn't have a choice but to tell everybody in this red state that I'm going to have to fight for myself and for my son, for my family. And that's what I've been trying to do every single day since then. The, the Women's March was big. Remember, I saw a little girl with a sign. She had to be nine. At that point, I was like, this is why we're here. And we have to do this. We did uh, the March for Science. I did that for my son. He loves science. And I said, you know what? If he's gonna come out here and march for me, I need to get out there and march for him. I've gone to see both of the people running for Senate in my state, Beto and Cruz. I'm the person who gets the tax cuts. <laughs> if getting a tax cut means making more people uninsured, if it means um, taking away marriage equality, if it means banning an entire religion, I don't want that money. I mean, it's blood money. I'm more vocal than I think my husband would like me to be about it. I think that both of us feel like our vote matters more now than it ever did in the past. Because are we voting for our family or are we voting against our family? It all boils down to kindness. 